video, I want to show you guys my morning winter skincare routine. Before I get started, um, just want to let you guys know I have oily, acne prone, dehydrated skin. And especially in the winter time, it's like, it's like combination skin. I get very flaky in the bottom, like chin area, and then super oily on the cheek and the T-zone. I want to do this video because I feel like every winter, my skin is very reactive. It really doesn't know what to do with you know the harsh dry winds so i feel like my skin just kind of breaks out a lot has a lot of redness and sensitivity i feel like this is the first winter i got my skincare down pat so i just thought i would share uh yep i have a pimple over there but that's realistic i'm gonna take my create beauty matcha hemp hydrating cleanser to be honest this is the only cleanser i've been using for the past few years and I have yet to be brave and grow the balls to try another cleanser. One thing I look for in a cleanser is definitely a product that doesn't like rip off my skin barrier. The reason why I love this cleanser so much is because it's just very gentle and has all the best ingredients. And this is all I know. Being too harsh on your skin, you don't want to rip off or damage your skin barrier. Gently. The next, this is pretty important. Right after I wash my face, and while my face is still damp, aka right now, I go in straight with the toner. This is Olive Young's Philly Milly Unbleached Cotton Sheet. Sort of looks like a tissue. I've been kind of switching off between my skin and lab and my delta toner i already talked about my delta toner and you guys know already why i love this so much but basically the delta toner just has the cleanest ingredients um, very hydrating has a lot of hyaluronic acid and it really keeps the moisture um, throughout the day i've been switching back and forth with the Tokto and the Skin and Lab Very Very Pure Toner from their Dr. Derma Solution line. As you guys can see, um, I'm like almost done with this. Some key ingredients here are fig extract, betaine, which is good for anti-aging purposes. It's found in a lot of anti-aging products, that ingredient, and niacinamide. Niacinamide is good for just inflammation, oil control, really evens out dull, dull skin tone. I'm gonna just go ahead and put on some toner because I don't want my skin to dry up completely. I'm very generous with the amount of toner I put on. I like layering on the toner. I'm just gonna like leave it there. I'm gonna take my favorite Purito Centella Green Level Buff Face Serum. Take about like three pumps. I'm warming up in my hands. All right, so I take my Sachi Beauty's Gua Sha tool. Super cold, although you don't have to put it in the fridge. I do it because I got the fridge and it's nice but I just roll my face about five times on this side this tool was used in traditional Chinese medicine and normally I know a lot of people use jade rollers but jade rollers are actually not supposed to be good for you because um, the jade roller the surface of it picks up bacteria very easily whereas the stainless steel has a non-porous effect and yeah it's good for lymphatic drainage which creates a natural contour to your face and relaxes the muscles and it keeps your skin like tight so I've been doing this every like maybe a couple days a week maybe three or four times a week I don't do this every day it's not good for you you don't want to pull your skin off too much Okay, put a little bit of pressure on, but don't don't like don't dig for diamonds on your skin. But I'm taking the eye cream, which is also in the fridge. I like to keep it cool. This, this is Glossier's eye and lip plumping cream. It's 
Some key ingredients here are hyaluronic acid, avocado oil. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't know like if this has created like a big change to my face. I don't know. I just put it on because I just assume that I have to because it's eye cream. This is a product I'm really excited to talk about. This is Skin and Love's Vitamin C Brightening Serum. The benefits of vitamin C are that it gets rid of hyperpigmentation, it brightens the skin complexion, and it stimulates collagen production. Paired wonderfully with a sunscreen to prevent any UV induced damage. I was really hesitant to add vitamin C to my skincare routine because I have very sensitive skin, so I was scared that it might be too acidic. But this actually it was such a game changer for me. It like really brightened up my complexion, and I feel like it's smoothed out. Texture and I used to have like kind of bumpy skin, but I swear to God, this like gives me that like glow and that shine like throughout the day. Some key ingredients here are it has niacinamide and bursts of vitamin E, which has like that extra antioxidant boost. Wash my hands. Oh. Alright, next I go with the Skin and Labs Barrier Derm Intensive Cream. Y'all, this has been my best friend this winter. So good. This is a thick cream for people with sensitive skin. If you have oily skin, you might want to start off with small amounts and just like kind of work your way up. But this is how much I put on. Some key ingredients here are phylacid, hesteramide, and hyaluronic acid. And these oils keep the skin moisturized during the day against any harsh or cold winds. Oh, I'm really excited to talk about this one. Next and last one is the sunblock. The Skin and Labs Barrier Derm Daily Sunscreen with SPF of 50. What I love about this product is that it leaves a, a smooth finish on my face and it leaves my skin looking silky. So you should shake it before. Guys. So it has like minimal to no white cast. like that glass skin look it's really good for sensitive skin as well and so far so good i haven't seen any breakouts from using this sunblock it's good for people with sensitive skin i feel like i would say it works very well on me and i react to literally everything like i had some gifts on it the other day and two days later pimple okay, so i'm gonna take my favorite handy dandy ice roller click that in Sometimes I just do it extra wiping But I do wipe this with alcohol or I wash it with water after I use but After I put on all my skincare products, I roll my face up for about 5-10 to 10 minutes Then you'll see that my skin gets super red And then I'll show you guys what my skin looks like after 10 minutes Because it starts calming down and my skin has that like boom glow I've talked about this in so many of my other videos too I've been doing this on the daily and I think this is one of the reasons why I don't break down as much as I used to I mean, there are other reasons why I don't break out as much, but this really does leave my skin feeling and looking young, glowy. There's so many benefits to ice rolling. It's good for anti-aging. Gets the blood circulation going. Alright, voila, I'm done. That's it. This is my morning skincare routine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm by Dior. <laughs> Color is in pink. I've been putting on this on every single day. Shout out to G. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys again soon. I'm gonna put on a this is all of Young Care Plus.